Hey everyone, welcome back to the study side. I'm Sonny, and this is a tarot reading for Jean Benet Patricia Ramsey. Everybody cool? Jean Benet Ramsey. Um, I'm going to read about this in a second to bring you guys up to speed. This video was recommended um, by one of my Sunny Siders, LP. And so, not like LP, like the record, like L as in woman, E L L E. Okay, whatever, man. <laughs> All right. Anyways. I hope you guys are having a super amazing day. Welcome back to the study side. I'm Sunny. Um, so it's hump day today. Nobody's going to watch this video. That's <laughs> like whatever. But Elle wanted it. So we'll do it for a long time. Sunny side. Just to let you guys know, just a quick thing before we begin. This is a psychic channel. And at night on this channel, uh, we play a psychic game. And I have a bit of a psychic league, a sunny side psychic league that's happening right here. So if you're psychic, or you want to get and in the game we play at nighttime we just guess the tarot cards and i'll show you how to do it so if you're psychic and you want to test yourself or if you want to see how psychic you are then just tune into the channel nightly or you can watch it on the horoscopes we guess it on the horoscopes but they don't count at nighttime uh on this channel or go check out all the old uh videos um for late night tarot and you'll see us playing the psychic game if you want to take part in it uh tune in live and for prizes or if you want me to keep your score or if you want to compete <laughs> then it's five bucks to become a member all right here we go jean benet patricia ramsey this is for l and everyone else a lot of people care about this case okay the i did look at her astrological chart her moon is conjunct in this uh, her, she's born under a bit of a full moon just after a full moon she was born uh it does square mars and loosely square pluto at the bottom of the chart her sun conjuncts the uh, south node and the moon conjuncts the north node. This kid was going to have problems. This kid does have astrologically her life interrupted. It's very, it's very clear. She would have, if she wasn't murdered, she would have had problems later on in life. All right. So let me read this to you and then we'll pick the cards. So Jean Benet, Patricia Ramsey, would you guys like to see this? <laughs> and so here we go. Jean Benet, Patricia Ramsey. Uh, was an American child beauty queen who was killed at the age of six in her family home in Boulder, Colorado. A long handwritten Ramson note was found uh, in the home. Her father, John, found the girl's body in the basement of their house about seven after sh after sh hours after she'd been reported missing. She sustained a broken skull okay, <laughs> from a blow to the head and had been strangled and had been strangled. This kid was mashed up. She also has something in the back of her chart right here. I'll just show you really quickly. In the back of her chart right here, there's something around the way she looks or maybe like a babysitter had problems with it or something is not entirely up to speed with that Venus there with Chiron conjunct Venus back behind the sun like that. That could cause like there's some kind of problems with rapport or love or a pain. Um, all right, next, <laughs> let's see what's going on. You can see that this chart has uh, tension and you can see a big giant red triangle right in the center but the planet i was talking about causing more problems is mars up here but mars is opposite pluto this is a tricky chart all right let's get back to what we're talking about today <laughs> so all right next let me finish this up for you guys and then we'll get to the tarot reading here and see what happened all right uh broken skull strangled a garrote was found tied around her neck you know strangling device the autopsy report stated that the official cause of death was asphyxiation by strangulation associated with craniocerebral trauma, which means a blow to their head. Her death was ruled a homicide, which means somebody killed her. But I'm telling you guys, just looking at the chart, like it's someone killed, like obviously, okay? <laughs> so uh, the case generated worldwide public and media interest in part because her mother, Patsy Ramsey, was a former beauty queen and had entered John Bonet into a series of child beauty pageants right we already said that venus right it's happening in the chart it's a cold case and it's uh, under investigation with the boulder police department they initially suspected the ramson note had been written by the mom and that the note and appearance of uh jean benet's body had been staged by the parents in order uh to cover up the murder in 1998 the police and district attorney both said the jean benet's brother burke who was nine years old at the time of death was not a suspect Jean Benet's parents gave several televised interviews, but resisted police questioning, except on their own terms. All right. 
In October 2013, unsealed court documents revealed that a 1999 grand jury had recommended filing charges against the Ramses for permitting the child to be in a threatening a threatening situation, which is obvious. <laughs> right, that's obvious. You don't go to jail for being a shitty parent, though. You should, but you don't. John and Patsy were also accused of hindering the persecution, uh, the prosecution, not persecution. This is not everything is racist here. <laughs> so, we're also accused of hindering the prosecution of an unidentified person who had committed the crime of murder in the first degree and child abuse resulting in death, in quotes. However, the DA determined that there was insignificant, sorry, insufficient evidence to pursue a successful indictment. In other words, it's bullshit. They don't have anybody, right? They don't have anybody or they don't have proof. They weren't able to figure it out. I don't know if this case is cold or not. Something, something screwy here. Okay, let's look at the cards. Oh my God, six minutes. All right, well, you guys survived it so far. <laughs> Welcome to the sunny side. It's long-winded videos. All right, wow. They don't really have anybody. I guess it's just, all right, I'm going to keep my opinions to myself because, you know, I was going <laughs> to... All right, next. <laughs> here we go. So let's check out who did it. So first up, the King of Swords. Oh my God. What the frig? The King of Swords. Okay, so this this is not a passionate card to start with. This is a very cerebral kind of thinking it through kind of card. Holy smokes, this is weird. So, hey guys, guys, something is wrong here. You know, a lot of these cases are crimes of passion or like something screwy happened or jealousy. I was actually looking at the chart without any transits or progressions or anything. And I looked at it and I thought maybe there was someone jealous of the kid and kind of freaked out. Maybe someone was taking control, of, like someone was babysitting and something and freaked out. But like, that's what I think. But like here, we, but anyways, this is something different. The King of Swords, head over the heart, right? Discipline, truthful, honest. This card is right side up. I think they knew what they were. Someone who killed this girl knew what they were. They knew what they were doing. Oh my God, this is getting pretty scary. They knew what they were doing. King of Swords, you know what you're doing. <laughs> Next. Eight of Swords reversed. Okay, so this is something you don't see coming, right? So maybe there was, so maybe the parents trusted someone or someone was put in a position of trust. I think I'm biased. This reading, I, I try and be very unbiased when I do my readings. I try to look about, you know, do as little research as possible because once again, it's pretty obvious we're a psychic channel <laughs> and I don't really need to know everybody to get the answer right. We'll get the answer for you guys. But the um, reading this, I'm a little bit biased, right? So um, anyways, this Eight of Swords, watch this. The Eight of Swords, and it's reversed. It's right, the Eight of Swords. See how she's wearing uh, a hoodwink there, a blindfold surrounded by all of this danger? This card generally indicates you don't see the danger all around you, right? Negative thoughts, self-imposed restrictions, imprisonment, victim mentality. This card means you don't see the danger all around you and this card is reversed so there was some kind of negative situation that was having a negative impact that they just didn't see i thought that there's a pause i'm starting to think the babysitter did it man <laughs> so like or a neighbor the babysitter or a neighbor or it might have been an accident with a cover-up or something going on here but the king of swords anyways the king of swords said they were very clear about what they were doing and there's a big chunk of danger that they didn't see. Oh, this is interesting. I didn't expect this at all. All right, then the Ace of Wands reversed. Okay, so this is being held back. Some like obstruction of sorts, right? Ace of Wands. This is getting on with things, right? New beginnings, new energy. It's like going to another beauty pageant. It's like trying something new. It's learning how to drive. It's, it's you know, how to throw a baseball, baseball or kick a saw, whatever. But this card is reversed. So there's a problem here. There's a there is a problem. Okay, this is all obvious, right? Because they killed her, but someone killed her. But like in this reading, it's indicating there's a problem going on here. So the eight of swords are reversed, right? There's very clear danger they don't see. Uh, and then we have the ace of wands, and this card, you know, new projects, inspiration, urge to create, willpower. Like there was probably you would have thought when you see this card like that you would think oh wow the world is like your oyster so to speak like you, like there's a lot of potential for good stuff but this card is actually reversed so 
that new beginning they were hoping for, maybe it didn't happen, you know, or maybe it was going to be uh, take a little bit longer, or maybe someone was hoping to try something new, or someone was going to leave somebody. Maybe the parents were arguing. Maybe some one of the parents was cheating on it and having an affair, or maybe um, there's some kind of danger. Like there's danger here you don't see, man. Like right there, you don't see the danger. And this Ace of Wands, this new beginning's not happening. So something is going on. Something's going on. Let's put it together. You guys need to really think about this. Oh, wow, this is for L. L, this is an interesting case here. And then we have the Four of Swords. This card's not reversed. This is the card of med meditation, of vigilance, of, you know, of like, well, things didn't really work out, but this is what we're going to do anyways. That's what the Four of Swords is all about. The Four of Swords, before I pull it up for you guys, the Four of Swords comes from the Three of Swords. And the Three of Swords is all about heartbreak or someone letting you down. And someone lets you down and you have to go into the Four of Swords. And the Four of Swords, you're sitting there in contemplation thinking, all right, well, they let me down. It's not working. All right, whatever. Let's continue. <laughs> so we're going to, whatever decision we make, we're going to deal with it. And that's what's going on with this particular card. So things might not have been perfect, but whatever was going on, this is what they were going to do rest relaxation meditation contemplation recuperation they were like you know so either their life was very busy right before it happened and they were kind of resigned to the fact that this is what we're going to do for the next little while or they were taking a bit of a break from the situation from a hectic situation and they just needed to pause but once again there is danger around them in the eight of swords and they just don't see it ace of wands right here they want some kind of new beginning somebody wanted a new beginning somebody wanted an adventure it could be like buying a car right but for whatever reason they couldn't do it all right next or it didn't work out the way they wanted to and then we have the queen of wands reversed okay so so i'm just throwing it out there that the babysitter did it obviously it's not what happened right <laughs> but some kind of energy like that some kind of energy where there's a position of trust right and some very clear thinking um that's i think who did it i think according to this reading all right this reading and like one and a half paragraphs of a wikipedia page and a psychic from a random youtube channel is saying is <laughs> saying someone the i think the this was i don't know that this was necessarily premeditated okay uh, it's but they knew what they were doing the king of swords indicates that it's premeditated but there's also a possibility that with a clear conscious um with a clear conscience they left the kid with someone and they didn't know of all the danger they didn't know the problem was going on they had to deal with it it's like the only babysitter they could get some something like that or the only person they could put in charge of the kid or this is what they had to do and then we have the queen of wands this is interesting <laughs> so the queen of wands right side up generally indicates you know taking care of other people like it's confidence it's energy it's doing stuff but it's reversed so there is a decided lack of care that's happening here care awareness taking care of other people watch this and so you know courage confidence independence focus zest for life blah 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 someone might have been a little bit depressed you know what, guys? Okay, so this is way out there. We're just speculating. Okay, at least I didn't pull up a yearbook and start harassing a random person <laughs> like some psychics do. But watch this. I have a feeling that this was, I think, you see how, can you guys, you guys notice on that side of the reading or that I'm on, these two guys are reversed. This wand stuff is reversed. And so this Part of the reading what what this is representing is not it means these people right here that this is representing they're not <laughs> to be trusted or they're going through something or they're having a mental breakdown or they're unable to respond to the situation this doesn't say like i'm going to get throughout scenarios some really popular kind of stereotype ideas like the babysitter had like a boyfriend over and couldn't respond to the kid the kid fell down the stairs or like or that the kid kept crying because i didn't tell you guys this but astrologically she's gonna have she would have had mental problems she would have been emotionally out of control so she would have been a, she would have been emotionally out, she would have been a problem child but the but the queen of wands reversed is un it's being unable to 
take care of someone else. So like the babysitter, whoever was taking care of the kid might have been going through some mental problem at the time or an emotional situation or an active situation and something happened. Wow. I, but, you know, that person taking care of the kid could have been like a parent, right? Or a brother or a babysitter or a neighbor or like the dog, like whatever. So that's so far. That's what I see going on. I see it's a little surprising. I think they again, they did it in good faith. They thought it was going to work out or someone had this all premeditated and, you know, there's danger around or they, you know, clarity of thought. They got to resolve themselves to doing what they do. And over here on the other side, it's not working out. All right, introverted, selfish, jealous, insecurity, right? This is, again, introverted, jealousy, insecure. Um, I think there was a bit of jealousy involved in the situation uh, because that Venus Chiron thing can indicate jealousy. Okay, here we go, here we go. And behind the sun. All right, here we go. And finally, for L, last card today, -na 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 -na, the sun card reverse, which is kind of obvious. <laughs> so... So the sun card reverse. So this is being reborn into the light of a beautiful new day when the card is right side up. It means coming into your own power, like standing there. It means it's something that everything sees. The Hebrew glyph um, means the front of the face. It's everything you see. Whereas the moon card is behind the head. It's everything you don't see. And so in this situation, it's reversed, right? So you either, it's also like moving on without closure right? Oh, these cards that are reversed, it's not like, like you're moving on, like time keeps moving on. And whether you're moving on stuck in the past or moving on stuck in some wherever you're stuck, it's what's going on. And the sun indicates that this rebirth that's happening, this transformation that's happening, this beautiful life that they were hoping for, it's not, it didn't really result in the world that they were hoping for. Minus the murder, right? This is gives me it's a little bit of a motive thing that seems to be popping up here. Let me pull up the sun card and finish this up. It does appear that they were hope someone was hoping for some kind of new beginning. Like very clear, right? The ace of wands, new activities, they can't take care of themselves. Someone was hoping for some new beginning. This card is a new beginning card, right? Yes. Positivity, pleasure, happiness, but this is all reversed. So that new beginning wasn't going to happen the way that someone wanted it to happen. Like maybe so there was cheating in the relationship and someone wanted to get on with something else. But, you know, the kid was a casualty of the situation. Or maybe someone was jealous of the kid and because of the astrology, right? Maybe someone was jealous of the kid and they freaked it out. Maybe the kid couldn't stop crying, right? Because the kid has crybaby in her chart or, or emotional problems in the chart. But I see that this reading, it looks like, the more I look at these cards that popped up today, the more I'm thinking someone in trust who tr they were in trust with a kid. I think they were something like this looks like like there's no breakup energy in this reading. Right. So although I and there's no real um, like super sneaky in this reading, but there is danger in the background and there are people out to get these guys. There were people out to get these guys. Um, it doesn't say that money was involved in the situation. It doesn't say that jilted lover is involved in the situation. This reading doesn't say any of that. But it does say something was somewhat premeditated. Uh, there are emotional problems at play here. A new beginning is not working out the way they wanted to. You have to, res there are people are resigning themselves to certain facts about life. And at the end of the day, there's a lot of, there was a lot of danger around these guys that they just did not see. And that's the deal. And in the end, the sun card reversed, like it's not coming to the light of day. So I don't, I don't actually think, you know, in some cases I say, Hey, like the Idaho thing, I think they're going to find the guy. But in this one, I don't know that they're going to find the guy. Uh, the sun card is reversed. So it's not something, something right with the sun card reversed is not coming to light. That's it. <laughs> it's that simple. Something is still missing from this entire equation here, I think, anyways. And that's the deal. Thanks for recommending. Uh, thanks, Al, for recommending we do this. If anyone wants to take part in the psychic game, then become a member. Then just join the Sunny Side as a member. It's only five bucks, and you can take part in the psychic game and win prizes. And um, if you are psychic, if you're not, don't, <laughs> don't you know, come and hang out. But like, whatever. And that's the deal, guys. I wish everyone the absolute best of a super beautiful day. And 
that's the deal i think i'm gonna do i want to do kanye next but like it's kind of a waste of time nobody's gonna watch it today but i'm telling you the gemini's are coming back in january you watch out there's a i'm not a fan of kanye or any of the gemini's right so, you know but like i'm just telling you gemini energy is coming back all right guys that's the action from the sunny side.net i'm sunny wishing everyone the best of a super beautiful day please subscribe to the channel please share the video tune into the horoscopes tune into the live streams uh join the psychic league here and i wish everyone the best of a super beautiful day